Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great uh, Easter Sunday. Uh, we're going to be doing our live stream at 5 o'clock. Don't know how many people will be uh, taking time away from their holiday and things to join us. Uh, if you do, that's great. If you don't, not a problem and stuff. It's not like the Dallas Cowboys don't have enough drama that we can just rehab hash it tomorrow so um i find this one interesting because you know when you're a dallas cowboy player anything that happens with you is literally earth shattering in things um you'll remember uh before the season started i think it was i'm sorry two seasons ago two seasons ago um sam williams was in a car accident that he went to the hospital had a uh, I think scratches on his face and we were thinking that he may have had a concussion and was got a, a ticket for reckless driving. He ended up sideswiping another car and so on. Uh, he walked away with some scratches along with concussion and an X-train. Um, the other car, you know, it, it's a fender bender. Um, were briefly hospitalized, uh, but nothing serious. Basically, they went in for precautions and so on. And it was a misdemeanor, but it was breaking news, big news and all that. So right now, here's where it's interesting. And I want to read this to you guys, because we have a Kansas City, Kansas City wide receiver, um, Rashard Rice. I mean, Rasheed Rice, who uh, was a rookie this year, had about 950 yards or so, got himself a Super Bowl ring, of course, got Pat Mahomes going on him, who was in Dallas. In Dallas, um, and ended up being part of a six-car accident and fled the scene along with another person. Th this is this is crazy, and this is one of those ones that you could be in some serious trouble on this, this one because this is you fled the scene. So let me read exactly. A car connected to Rashid Rice was involved in a six-car crash Saturday evening. Law enforcement officials said. Dallas police are searching for Kansas City wide receiver Rasheed Rice after a sports car connected to Rice was involved in a multi-vehicle crash Saturday evening. Officials told the Dallas Morning News multiple people suffered injuries, but none were deemed serious, police say. They will update the story as more information happens. About 6.20 p.m., Dallas responded to an accident in 600 block of North Central Expressway. Officers determined that two people, one in a Chevy Corvette and one in a Lamborghini, were speeding in the far left lane at University Boulevard. The motorist lost control of the Lamborghini, hit the median wall, causing a chain reaction collision involving four vehicles, according to Dallas police. The occupants of the Lamborghini and the Corvette ran from the scene without providing their information or stopping to see if anybody needed medical help, um, the police said. The two motorists involved in the accidents were treated at the scene for minor injuries, a police spokesman said. Uh, the other two were taken to the hospital for minor injuries, the police said. So, how is Rashid, R Rashid Rice involved? The Corvette involved in the crash is believed to be registered at least to Rice. A police call sheet, playing by the news, listed Rice as suspended driver of the Corvette. So, he has a suspended license. A Dallas police spokesperson said the police are still working to identify the suspects. Rice did not appear in Dallas County Jail records as of 11 a.m. Sunday and is not immediately clear if he has uh, was suspected of any charges. Does Rice have any Dallas connections? Rice moved to Texas in the third grade and stayed in the area through high school. He lived in North Richland high, uh, Hills and played at Richland, Richland High school football team. He attended Southern Methodist University and became one of the most successful wide receivers in Mustang history. So, hmm, it's not immediately clear if Rice was in Dallas this weekend. Photographs of Rice and other NFL players were posted Saturday on Instagram account of Thursday Night Bowling, which builds itself a private event and bowling party. It's not clear when the photos were taken. So, if, now, here's the thing, you are innocent until proven guilty. What we know is it was his car, it was registered to him, and that his license was suspended. 
Um, that doesn't mean that it wasn't that it was him necessarily driving it. Somebody else could have been driving his car, joyriding and everything else, crashed it and said, I'm going to be in trouble. Let me get the hell out of here. Uh, either way, uh, there's definitely some problems for somebody. Whomever the two drivers were uh, being involved in this accident, you know, um, hit and run with injuries. And if it is Rice without a, with a suspended license, that could actually be some jail time, possibly. I remember um, <laughs> it was kind of crazy. I had um, and didn't know it. I had a suspended license for a parking ticket. Um, and I had a seatbelt. This is when Michael and Michaela were real young. I had a, it was a seatbelt checkpoint and they checked, you know, I just pulled everybody over, make sure, and you know, checked your license and stuff. The next day I got a knock at the door and it was the police to actually take me to jail for driving on a suspended license. I'm like, what are you talking about? So I go down to the police station, I get arrested. Um, I had to talk to a magistrate because it was on a Friday. And if the magistrate hadn't been there, then I would have had to wait in jail until Monday. And keep in mind, I had Michael and Michaela that were like five, five and three years old. And I'm like, officer, I'm a single parent. I got kids. Not my problem. I was like, can I take, can they go to my neighbor's house or something? Anyway, I went to court on this. And what, what actually happened was the Monday from when I had the accident was when I actually got the notification from DMV. So my license was suspended. I didn't know it. Um, in which case I went ahead and took care of the ticket, got that squared away. When I went to court, the woman who was in front of me, um, was driving on a suspended license and she explained, well, you know, we were just going around the corner. My friend didn't know where it was, where we were going and it was just easier for me to drive. And the, the officer said, did you know you were driving on a suspended license? She said, yeah, but it was just around the corner. He said, I don't care. Where you were going, you were driving a suspended license, and she got a week in jail. And I was just like, holy shit. Um, I was fortunate because he said he saw there was a discrepancy on the date I was um, pulled over uh, versus when I was notified, and that way I didn't have to go to jail on it. So I don't know how the laws are in Texas, but if you are causing an accident by racing and you have a suspended license... Yeah, they could be throwing the book at you. And if this were a Dallas Cowboy player, oh, this would be all over TMZ. Oh, this would, this would be blown the hell up on TLC. I mean, TMZ. But then again, it's not the Cowboys, and so it's not as big a deal. All right, good people. Hope to see you guys at 5. Peace out.